I like places which historical figures are known to have visited and to be somewhere that you know Roman Emperor Caligula or Lord Byron to have been and wonder if you are standing in their footsteps. This video is about the sacred Roman springs of Clituno, near the Roman road the Via Flaminia in Umbria in central Italy, which you can still enjoy today. The oracle which Caligula came to has long gone, but it's not hard to imagine why it was a sacred site, going back to the original Umbrians before the rise of ancient Rome. The religiously pragmatic Romans adopted the local Umbrian god, turning him into Jupiter Clituno, using their familiar tactic when conquering people of allowing the old gods to continue to be worshipped in one form or another. Pliny the Younger, who witnessed the destruction of Pompeii, wrote of the springs of Clituno that he wished he had seen them sooner, and of the crystal clear waters through which he could see the coins that had been thrown there. In those days the springs had the force to push boats across the lake, although it's much more tranquil nowadays. It's satisfying to think that the water emerging from the rocks beneath you, which form the Clituno River, will end up in the River Tiber flowing through Rome and into the Mediterranean. Lord Byron too was charmed by the springs and wrote of the sweetest wave of the most living crystal, and the river nymph that dwelt there, and who lives on in a marble relief by the lake. This was one of the stops on the itinerary of the Grand Tour of the 18th and 19th centuries, and was visited by many of the early tourists. Not for nothing is there a Via Byron nearby and the Lord Byron restaurant. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly how the springs looked in Roman times, as in this region of regular seismic activity, earthquakes appear to have reduced the flow of the water. There would have been temples, villas, thermal baths and goodness knows what else back then. The current look of the springs is a bit more modern, but with a curious history. They were renovated in the 19th century, with the willow trees having come from the island of St Helena, to which Napoleon was exiled, as a tribute to him and what was seen as his contribution to Italian unification. That last bit may technically be true, although I suspect Napoleon envisaged Italy as remaining under French domination forever. The springs of Clituno are a place to sit and linger rather than hurry through. Even on a blazing hot summer's day it is a cool and green spot, the epitome of tranquillity. Just a kilometre away along the Clituno River is the so-called Temple of Clituno, which was originally thought to have been a Roman temple, but in fact was probably a very early Christian church from the 4th or 5th century. The remaining wall paintings are some of the oldest paintings in Umbria today, and in their own way as magical as the springs. If you come here you can feel the continuity from ancient Umbrian times before the Roman occupation to early Christianity and the present day. Just remember to bring some coins, as not many people visit the temple, so don't expect much change from your 20 euro note. I saw it as my own offering to the old river god. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Eternal Springs. If you'd like to see more videos about all things Italian, please feel free to subscribe and do things which will please the all-powerful YouTube algorithm.